Welcome to Mile High Reefers. I'm Scott Anderson and this is The Fishery. It's one of Denver's coolest stores. We came here during their grand opening about two years ago, but today it's time for a store tour. This place is amazing. <laughs> Josh Barrero, owner of the Fish Room. Josh, we met a couple of years ago when you were just first putting this store together. To come in today and see it, what is it, two years later? It's about a year and a half. A year yeah, and a half almost. later, this place is incredible. Thank you, thank you so much. So, so our motto here at the Fish Reef is we design, we install, and we maintain. When I started the store, I saw a gap in services offered by most fish stores. And I, I really saw a need for kind of a, more of a showroom element where people could see what they want in their home um, and have kind of an open, conducive to buying space and not a dark, dingy store. A nice, clean, sterile environment where you can buy fish, you can get educated on a hobby, whether you're a newcomer or a seasoned hobbyist alike. Our biggest thing is our showroom is here to show you what we can do in your home, right? We, we sit down with the customer and we design their tank and then we also come out to the home, we install it, and then we provide routine follow-up maintenance, which was something that I saw a lot of a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, fish stores and other, other companies didn't want to do. They either exclusively stuck to maintenance or they exclusively stuck to installs. Um, so I wanted the customer to be able to come in here and have an A to Z experience with the same person um, and, and understand that if we install your tank, we got your back. We're gonna show you how all this stuff works and we're gonna walk you through it. We, we really do a little bit of everything here. We have both fresh water and salt water. And one of the biggest emerging markets that we notice that are, that are really starting to come up are nano tanks. So we, we took the middle of the store, which used to be open, and we built all these custom built nano sections um, of nano fish, right? A lot of people start with these little four and five gallon uh, Pico reefs and nano tanks. So we wanted, we, Neocardemia is a really big one. So we kind of build these systems and really set all these fish aside for folks that are just like, hey, listen, I got a five gallon tank. I don't want uh, a, a giant clown trigger or a puffer. Uh, how, about, how about some Celestial Pearl Danios or how about some, you know, uh, Neocardemia? Uh, these are really big ones that are really popular. Pea puffers, you know, these things are oh, so I've cool. I've seen those, those are awesome. They're, they're, yeah, pea puffers are, they're full of personality. They're tiny. And, and, and everyone wants a puffer fish, but you know, not everyone's got a 200 gallon freaking fowler to house a, a, you know, a, a giant puffer fish. So these are, these are great freshwater um, uh, little, little fish that you can get in there. Uh, Endler guppies. I mean, we got some killifish in there, some gardener eye killifish. There's so much color um, in small, so some of the smaller freshwater nano stuff that, man, I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't really know the amount of color that you can get in these smaller tanks. So this is a really cool section for us. We get really excited about it. You know, Yasha gobies and... Um, so this over here is our freshwater wall. Um, where we basically, we try and carry a little bit of everything. Um, you know, we have, we have African cichlids, we got some South American stuff. We got, you know, tetras and we got, you know, your, your typical, right, um, uh, glowfish. Sometimes we do a lot of rescues, so like, uh, we, we have a lot of maintenance accounts that we maintain, larger, larger freshwater tanks that could really use a fish like this. So we can, we can rescue these fish and we can put them in, you know, a three, 400 gallon tank that we maintain and give them a really happy, happy, happy life. And from my point of view, nothing beats a used fish. They're the best. They're, they're awesome. Yeah. Big fish are, you know, you get like a personality and, you know, you start noticing different little quirks about them. And like, it's crazy to me because a lot of people don't think fish have personality, but if, if you get attached to your fish, you'll notice little quirks about every single fish out there. So yeah, this is our freshwater uh, monster tank that's really, we're, we're not done with it, but this thing's pretty cool. Um, so this top section just opens up here. Um, and what we're gonna do is this thing's gonna be halfway filled with water. Um, and we're thinking we're gonna put some arowana in here, some freshwater stingrays, maybe some mubu puffers, some cool monster fish that uh, you know, a lot of people are into like these peacock bass and these really badass fish that you need such a big tank for. So we, we had this thing custom built. Um, it's, got a, it's got an external overflow here in the back and this is gonna be a, a, a full blown install. We're gonna add a cool 3D background in here, get this thing cycled and uh, you can come in and pick out some cool freshwater monster fish. We're really excited about getting this thing up and running. 
So this is our uh, aquascaping table, right? So a lot of the time you go into a fish store and you get some stone and some like pieces of driftwood, then you get home and then it looks like, I don't know, you have like a twig sitting in the middle of your tank and it's not exactly what you envisioned when you bought all this stuff. So we built this table and we kind of filled it with sand in here uh, to simulate what it would look like in your aquarium at home. So we have it marked off. So for example, if you got, you know, a four foot, 75 gallon tank, your typical cookie cutter tank, you go from here all the way to four feet. And then, you know, you know, if I take this piece of driftwood, right, this big one, this thing's going to fill my tank pretty good. And that's going to look pretty, pretty good in there. So when you walk into the store, we got two display sections. We got a freshwater display. We got a saltwater display. Um, and we really wanted to be able to show off what we can do plumbing wise, right? So we kind of left this area uh, semi open down here and it's still, it's still definitely in progress. We're still not done with it. Um, but one of the coolest things we wanted to show is like, if we build something into your wall and you're a hobbyist that likes to, you know, do your own maintenance and work on your own tank, something that's really unique about this is the way we built this stand. You'll notice there's no center brace in here. So you can access the whole thing and that, it oh, makes that's life, huge. it makes life so much easier when you're working on your sump and you don't have this awkward bar right in the middle of it. And when you um, want to make that upgrade. Right, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You know, moving the sump around, adding equipment in there you know, it's a lot easier. So we really wanted to show off a section where, you know, we can show off some of our cord consolidation. And if you pan over to this side, you can see we got our apex in here. We got some different controllers on the wall um, and we've hidden all our plumbing. So you really only see your, your, uh, your, your, your ups and your downs going in, your overflow and your returns. So yeah, when you walk in here, you're gonna see a lot of TV screens throughout the store. And uh, you know uh, you're you're gonna see some 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 different stuff that um, all of its stuff we produce. We have an on-staff videographer and editor that follows our install team around and films videos for us, um, so we can put online and we kind of walk you through the installs, walk you through exactly what we do. Um, we have a YouTube channel we're starting up, and you can go on our website or our Facebook, and you can look at pretty much all the installs we've done since we hired our, our videographer. So kind of kind of pretty fun, right? You can really see uh, wh what a day in the life is like of a fish tank installer. So this is our saltwater section of the store. This is our whole saltwater wall. Um, and we tried to make it where, you know, it was open enough that people, you know, we're pretty busy right now. We got a bunch of people in here, but you can see that the environment, you don't feel like you're backed up to a bunch of people. You don't feel like you're, you know, so so squeezed tight together that you can't enjoy yourself and, and really enjoy the coral, enjoy the fish and pick something out without feeling squeezed around. Um, so we have a couple frag tables here. We have another one behind us. Um, we have five fish systems. And then we have a, a section that we built here in the middle for salt water um, that has all our invertebrates, right? And the reason we did that is we did, we want to be able to copper our tanks. Um, and inverts, obviously, you know, you can't put them in copper. So we, we built a standalone system for all our inverts. And then we also have a platform that we built here. Um, where we can display a lot of our uh, cookie cutter factory line tanks, right? So if you're just an entry level hobbyist, you come in, you wanna, you wanna get into an aquarium, um, you can come in, pick out your aquarium right off the floor, take it home with you, or you can have us bring it in. Um, something that's kind of cool that um, I thought was pretty cool, right? I wish, I wish I, uh, this would have been an option when I started in the hobby, but uh, we have a QR code in a lot of our tanks here that you can scan, and we actually offer financing on our tanks. So this is the rest of our, our saltwater fish section. So we keep a lot of uh, a lot of different stuff in here. T typically, we leave this section at the top open for fowler style fish. Um, you know, we keep them secluded from each other so they don't hammer our little fire fish and our tangs and everything. So we got like a huma trigger up here and a puffer, right? We keep them secluded from each other. This whole section in here, we can kind of put a community setting in and we got some more breakdowns down here. Um, and in this corner over here, we have our display fowler. You've got my favorite fowler fish. Tell this, me about this it. This is our cowfish. Um, Calvin, what's his name? What's our cowfish's cheese. name? Cheese? Cheese the cowfish. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheddar cheese. <laughs> uh, we also have a porcupine puffer in here. We got a snowflake eel that literally never comes out. And then we have uh, a scorpion fish, or what is he? Is he, He's a toadfish. Yeah, he's a toadfish. Stone, he, he's got the, the most massive lack of personality on earth, which kind of makes for his personality because he just sits there and <laughs> does nothing, right? He's like in a vegetative state all the time until you feed him. But they're, uh, you ever seen an axolotl? Oh, 
really similar, just a lot easier to care for. You have to have the cold walk. So in the middle of our store on our freshwater section, we got this paludarium that's really a work in progress, but it's still pretty cool. We get a, we get a lot of questions on this thing. Um, so we wanted to build something where uh, freshwater inverts um, that uh, like vampire crabs, fiddler crabs, disco crabs, these are these really small, colorful crabs that need to need to surface out of the water um, to be able to, to, to get air and, and that's how they survive. So we built this thing and eventually the plan is we're gonna, we're gonna fill this in and we're gonna grow some plants on the back and we're gonna have this really cool kind of bonsai tree coming out of the middle where the crabs can come out and crawl on top of and then we can have neocardinia shrimp and kind of have like an invert haven on this thing. It's it's pretty cool tank that we're getting ready for. So when we first opened the store, we started carrying the bettas in um, cups, right? And eventually we, we just didn't like it, right? We, we didn't think it was cool to the animals. We, we didn't like it. Um, so we invested in one of these systems um, and they, they're essentially on a constant drip. Um, it's got a sump under here, it's pretty cool. Um, and it makes it really easy to care for the bettas. So yeah, we uh, it's kind of funny. When we first got these, the cups come without lids. So we literally had, we had the bettas keep jumping out and we had to like fish them out of the sump all the time. So we bought a 3D printer and we, we designed these <laughs> lids <laughs> to put, to, oh, to really? stop the bettas yeah. from jumping out all the time, right? They would jump at each other and we were like, oh my God, how have they not killed each other? So we had to, we had to kind of build something to, to, to stop that from happening. So we came up with these little lids and then we started building all kinds of stuff with our 3D printer. I love that. Too. Yeah. yeah. So our store needs a lot of water. So we've got kind of a unique system that we built here. Uh, we took these totes and we stacked them on top of each other and we tried to use gravity to the best of our advantage. Um, so we have, we have a couple of RODI filters here. Um, one is strictly for RODI top off water for our entire store. Um, and some, you know, we're, we're pretty limited on space here. Uh, when I quit my job and I started Thor, you know, I had a certain, I had a certain budget I had to work with. So this is the biggest space I could afford. So we had to get creative. Um, and if you pan up above my office, <laughs> you'll see there's, uh, a 300 gallon tank sitting right over my office, which is kind of terrifying. We built yeah, this. Yeah, if you ever get a leak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll fall through the floor, it'll be a problem. So we, we built that thing up there. And the reason we put it above the office is A, right? We don't really have anywhere else to put it. And B, um, all, all of that gravity from the top of the office, if you look, we, we plumbed it into the store and we split it off so that all the tanks can be gravity topped off oh, that's via brilliant. float valve. And it's, huge, right? Oh, we, yeah. we never pick up jugs and top anything off. Um, so yeah, that's, that's kind of a little little background on, our, on the back store of our operation, kind of cool. It's a disaster back here right now, so I do apologize. It's install day. Um, and actually that brings us up if, I think Scott's gonna tag along with oh, us absolutely. here. Oh, um, absolutely. And we're doing this really cool um, rimless 360 degree um, center island overflow tank that's really going to be an lps tank um, that we we had a faux coral insert um done for right we, we had this whole thing built up and and actually brings us up to our install truck this is our install truck so kind of cool we built this thing to move aquariums this is this is our mobile install station so we've kind of built a, a work table here uh, we got a, a brute trash can to really move water around if we're moving a uh, a tank or we need to move salt water around. Uh, we hang up some of our tools in here. If you look back here, we got another tote so that we don't have to make, you know, a ton of trips to and back, back, back and forth from the fish store. Um, so we can fill that thing with, with 300 gallons of salt water. Our van holds another 300. So, you know, typically one trip, we can do a 600 gallon. All right, let's go drop off a tank. This should be pretty killer. Tell him his name. This is the Gerard Butler of the radio <laughs> world. He is the carpenter, the plumber, the mechanic, the electrician, and the husbandryist. <laughs> He's a man of many skills. This setup is really cool. They've got it bolted in, it can't move. I mean, they're just using wood blocks, nothing to scrape, scratch.
What do you think that tank weighs, John? Four or five hundred pounds. Oof. That's heavy. <laughs> it's really thick glass. Well, I hope it fits. <laughs> you did measure this, right? Okay. <laughs> Perfect job. like a glove. Well, hey man, thanks so much for coming by. I had a blast. It was, uh, it was good to have you today and it was kind of fun just revisiting old memories and starting the shop up. Oh, it was great seeing you again. So, I loved today. I got to check out your shop, go on a tank install just to drop off more. But Josh, when I first met you, you were just leaving your real job. You've been doing this full time for over a year and a half. What's your favorite part about the job now? You know, I'd, I'd have to say taking someone who knows nothing about the hobby, they walk in and they're just like, hey, walk me through this. What do I have to do? And installing their dream tank. I mean, we have we have all walks of life come in here. We have regular people like you and me. We have, you know, football players, basketball players. We have actors. We have lawyers, doctors, janitors. I mean, we have literally all walks of life, and, and it's kind of cool to share this common ground with almost all, all my customers. Um, and just being able to set up a slice of the ocean or a lake inside their living room and watching watching them light up when we introduce those fish for the first time and uh, watching them kind of create a bond with, with all these animals, all these aquatic animals and you know, corals and plants. And it's really rewarding. It's really cool. You've done an amazing job. I love your shop. Thanks so much, man. It means the world to me. Thanks so much for coming out. Thank really you. Really appreciate it. It was great.